What is going on? Right? Like, it's past. It's past if you're divided politically. Even, you have to admit, even if you're like, I don't care as long as it's not you know who. Like a demonic, like the devil came out and just whoever, like, we're gonna make people hate Donald Trump. Hate! Get him! I hate Donald Trump! He's a racist! He's a dead man! White supremacist! He's a insurrectionist! He's a, they, they lynch people! I saw the news channels. I saw them saying, he's racist, he's sexist. You would just wake up to pee in the middle of the night. He hates Mexicans and he, he says they're rapists and he hates black people. And he, what? They had, remember the woman's march? We're gonna march! $50, What's going on with these um, people? This is a crazy reaction to something everybody knew was going to happen. You know what it reminds me of, Jesse? Do you remember in 2016 and 2020? And you had these these women, their memes now of them crying when Donald Trump won. Just the outbreak. I remember waking up at 2 a.m. and watching liberals just shed liberal tears. That is what's happening. Why? Because America won today. Imagine crying because the Constitution is standing strong and we're not going to turn into Cuba. That's Trump derangement syndrome 101 right there. We're so upset because the Constitution was upheld today, because the Supreme Court showed us that we are not Cuba, we are not a third world country, we are not a banana republic, and that the things I've seen over the past four months in New York are not going to become America. And what does MSNBC, The View, and CNN do? They have tantrums. It's literally epic to watch, but we did say this is a clean cut Supreme Court decision. It's constitutional. They were trying to do something that would have been hurtful to Democrats and Republicans. And that's what people need to remember. It's about America first. It's not about Trump. It's about us. I heard Raskin, the congressman, Democrat today, say he's got some rascally plan to go back to Congress and determine yeah. that Trump's an insurrectionist. So even if he does win in November, Donald Trump, Congress could bar him from taking office? What's going on here? Hey, why don't we also spy on his election for 2024 and then act like it didn't happen? I mean, it's what they're always doing. They double down, they triple down, and they become desperate. I'm not sure where their PR people are, but they should take a look at the polls. What they're doing is not working. And what President Trump said today was so articulate and so on point. He was calm, he was measured, and he said it very clearly. President Biden, do your job. Stop attacking me. Fight fair and square. I don't want to win this way. I want to win fair and square. You've got to take your henchmen off of me, your witch hunts, your election interference cases. And if you can walk, walk your way to the ballot in 2024 and vote. But he is not able to do so. And that's the truth. So the desperation, as we're seeing with what they said today, going to Congress, it just, you know, they double down, they triple down. Tomorrow we'll hear more of it. But they're not realizing that the American people see straight through it, Jesse, and they're sick of it. All right. We just